So in this video, I'm gonna give you five reasons why the Sony A6000 is still a relevant camera that can be used for professional work. If you guys are into camera reviews and gear, give me a huge thumbs up and subscribe to this channel right now. The Sony A6000 was released in 2014, which means this is a 10 year old camera. By no means does it have the newest, greatest, and latest things. I started doing photography in 2018 because I thought automotive photography was cool. Now in 2023, I primarily do, restaurants and real estate and very seldom do I do any automotive photography. I started with the Sony a7R 2 which was a 42 megapixel camera. I thought that's what you honestly had to have was the absolute highest megapixel to create the absolute best images. But over time I learned that these higher resolution cameras when you're doing volume type of jobs really slow down your computer. Not everyone's going to have the newest, latest, greatest computer be able to handle everything on there. Plus, there really is some trade-offs. You know, do you want to have a photo-heavy camera? Do you want a video-heavy camera? Do you want a hybrid like the a7 IV, a7 III? Or do you need something that's more basic? For my needs now, I'm primarily shooting real estate and I'm shooting restaurants. I can get the images I need on a 12 or a 24 megapixel camera, and I don't have to have a 42 megapixel camera. There's been a few times where certain customers have requested that I use certain export settings that are gonna be tied to higher resolution cameras, but honestly, those higher resolution megapixel cameras, most customers don't know for what I do on, they don't know what I'm actually shooting with. My primary source of income with doing media is real estate. So if you're getting an A6000 series camera or crop sensor, you're gonna be able to get a wide angle lens for substantially cheaper than you would actually get on a full frame. On either camera, full frame or crop sensor, you need a lens that's gonna be able to portray the whole room. And I guarantee your customers that are hiring you are not gonna know or even care that you have a 42 or 36 megapixel camera because you just need to show face value, what this space looks like and show anything that's in the room. If you're gonna be doing professional work, you're going to be firing off cameras a lot and having a lot of shutter accusations. If you're shooting with full frame cameras, especially newer ones, when they eventually fail because they do eventually fail no matter what, those are gonna cost you probably $400 in repairs to get that shutter fix, not including downtime. This camera I got on eBay for about $250. If the shutter breaks on it, I'm just gonna throw it away and get another one or use my other A6300, which is just as efficient. That brings me to my third point on utilizing these cameras. I got this one with under 300 shutter accusations from eBay, from someone who really just didn't need it. You can get these for three to $400, but a lot of people never utilize these cameras or never did anything with them. And they've just been sitting around in the middle of nowhere. So you can get into doing photography for a very reasonable price with this series of cameras. My number four reason why I love this camera is portability and accessibility. What does that really mean? That means I can literally have it in my pocket and just casually use this camera for fun activities, for professional activities, but it's so compact that I can go anywhere with it and it is not burdensome. Of course, you gotta throw a lens on there, but you could honestly put that just in your pocket. Number five reason, which is definitely not battery life. <laughs> because this camera truthfully looks like a small beginner's camera, what it has that helps you set yourself apart from everyone else is honestly this hot shoe trigger where you can put a flash on the camera and then be able to do flash images which create sharp, clear photos and it also has bracketing features if you're into HDR or real estate photography. If that helped you figure out if the A6000 is relevant for you, drop a comment below. Till next time guys, peace.